Hi guys and welcome to today's task. For today's task, I'm going to show you how I got kind of caught with my pants down. Is that okay to say? Yeah, it is. A week ago tonight, we got a huge snowstorm. Now, where I live in northern Utah, we are not strangers to snow in October. We've had snow into June before, but typically it's just like a little skiff, maybe one to two inch tops, nothing too big to worry about. Last week we got over a foot and there was so much damage. Um, the power lines behind my house actually had a huge tree completely collapse on them. It blew the transformer and we had power out for a few days. Not much I can do about that unless I had a backup generator. That's another video for another day, some other time. What I want to go over today is the things that really kind of threw me for a loop and things that I didn't have taken care of. And those are the things I want to show you today to prepare you for the winter time so that when the time comes that snow falls, you're not caught with your pants down as well. Can I say that? I think I can say that. I'm pretty sure I can say that. I can say pants down. Tip number one for the winter time. Do not get caught without your snow shovels out and about. I will typically put my snow shovels underneath this awning because I know I'm not gonna get snow there and so I'm not having to find them in the snow. That is if my kids don't take them and lose them. That is like number one rule. If you touch dad's snow shovels, you better put them back. I wish it was a rule that they obeyed. That's stupid to say. Tip number two, go into your garage and locate your window scraper. Once again, I got caught with a foot of snow on my truck and could not get into it because I couldn't find this thing. That location you saw me get it from is not where it usually stays. So I had to go dig and look for it a few different places. Finally found it. I always like to put mine in my vehicle underneath my back seat. Great spot for it. Tip number three, get all of the bicycles put away, whether you cover them with a tarp or put them in a storage unit or put them in the garage. Uh, I have a plethora of places that I have to store all of these bikes because I don't have room in just one spot. So they go in the garage under a tarp on the side of the house and some into a storage unit. It's ridiculous, but whatever you do to store your bicycles, get them out of the weather sooner than later. I know we all like that late fall warm bike ride that we sometimes can catch, but it's really not worth it to me to have a pile of snow come with a million bicycles out and then be trying to shovel around it. Snow gets into the chains, rust them. It's a pain in the rear, put them away. It's a good time. October is a good time to get that done. For the next step, you're gonna want some pruning shears, some gloves, and the recycle bin. Green waste, not recycle. Don't be silly. The next thing you want to get done, this is four. The fourth thing, fourth? Yeah. The fourth thing that you want to get done before the snow really comes is get your flowers out. I love the way these look, and I try to get as long of a life out of them as I can, but if they get into one snowfall, which they did last week, they go brown, yucky, and nasty. And if it gets snowy and it stays snowy, it just sits there and rots underneath it the whole winter long. So it's best to get them up now while you can. And it's not that difficult. Just grab them, throw them away. Okay, eh? Step number six, I think it is. This goes along with pulling out your flowers and things like that, but you also have to cut back any grasses or things like that that are growing that you don't want to become a mess during the winter time. All your grasses need to be cut back because whatever strands you're seeing right now, like this guy, he won't make it. He won't live through the year and he won't come back next year. So I got to cut them back. So you're going to grab your pruning shears and your grass clippers. And I will link both of these in the description. These ones are not exactly a cheap pair of pruning shears. They're, um, they're a little more expensive, but they also are 
far better quality than anything else. So probably right now is the best time to buy them too because they're probably on sale. are clean and we are ready to go for the winter time. Tip number six, under your hoses. Leaving a hose connected in the winter time can freeze and break this pipe and they're very difficult and costly to repair. Tip number whatever number we're on, I don't know. Turn your sprinkler system all the way off. Here we go. Tip number one million, throw your old planner away. Jeez, Joel. Now, depending on what kind of timer you have, I would recommend turning that to the off position as well, just so your solenoids and the valves aren't constantly getting a workout. And I have no clue what number we are finally on, but one of the final things to do is turn on your heat system if you have it in your rain gutters so that they are up and running. That background. Let's do this background. That's background. Nice. Get them out of the season. Sorry. Get them out of the rust gets all or there we go. It worked. So about a week ago. Actually a week ago. So I'm gonna give you a series. No, I don't like it. Devil plan. Oh, come on. Done. All right, you win.